guys, let's go on a trip. What's up guys, let's go through the open door transition tutorial. Uh, the first thing you want to do in the edit tab is lay out your clips. So I've got this image of my son here opening up the door and uh, that's the main clip that we're going to mask out. So that should be at the top and then below it are the two uh, images that I have that we're masking from. So I've got this image here of Lucas Oil Stadium and then uh, New York. Okay, so we're going to mask uh, the, the other clip out so that we can uh, expose those two images. A couple things I want to uh, highlight. I'm not going to go into detail in this tutorial, so I recommend you check out some of the other tutorials I had, like the uh, mask white tutorial, as well as the speed ramp. Um, you'll notice here for these clips, I do have speed changes. So in this case, I wanted to speed it up when I'm opening the door to help with the masking. The other thing I want to make mention of is I also noticed that because he's got this arm here as well as his head covers the entryway of the door, that makes masking very difficult. So to make it easy for myself, I did put in some keyframes to, as you can see here, to zoom in so that I could at least take, take his, his arm out and focus in just on his head and made masking much easier. So uh, I'd recommend if you ever do this open door transition, do it without someone walking across it or, you know, use an elevator or something. It makes it much easier on you. Okay, so I just want to call those things out. I'm not going to go into detail in this tutorial. Okay, so we can go to the color tab now. And this is when you start your masking. So the first thing you want to do is set up um, a power window. So the first node is usually for color balancing and, and so forth. And then uh, you set up your power window here, in my case, in the second node. And so uh, all I did here was go here and click on the curve, and then I drew it out. So again, my mask tutorial goes through this in more, more detail. The trick here is, as the image gets further down right here, you'll notice here that his head does cross the plane. And so in order to not mask out his head, I needed to create another power window. Uh, and that's not a big deal outside of the fact that when you do a second power window, You'll notice here I had to switch the, um, the, uh, the, the inverts buttons. If I had them both the same, you'll notice that in this case it shows that the background image. Or if I do it the opposite way, you'll see that it, it then just doesn't mask at all. So you actually have to invert these in order for it to, to work. So that's something that took me a while to figure out. And... I'd highly recommend you keep track of this because if you have to do more than one mask tool, you'll need to do that. Okay. Otherwise, you just draw your mask tool out as you go for each keyframe and uh, adjust it as I sh showed in the uh, previous tutorial. The nice thing about uh, speed ramping is you don't have to do as much masking. So as you notice here, as I speed ramp through here, each keyframe is, is skipping a lot of time. So it made it much easier uh, to mask it out. And who cares whether or not you open a door fast. In fact, it looks actually better to, to, uh, to speed ramp the, uh, the opening of the doors. And really, that's all you have to do to set up the open door transition. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave it uh, below in the comments section. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and look forward to the next tutorial. Peace. Thank you.